Hey guys, Justin here in the 4x4 test tent with another unboxing video. Inside this box here is quite possibly the most powerful grow light that I've reviewed to date. This is going to be nuts. This is a 10 bar light from Mars Hydro, the FCE 1000 watt. It's supposed to be 1000 watts. So we're going to check this out. Let's get into it. This is what you get in the box when you get your Mars Hydro FCE 1000 opened up and all out of the box. Uh, of course, you get the, the, the 10 bars and then the two sidebars to put them all together. And I'll show you kind of how that goes together later once we get the light hung. But this is all the rest of the stuff that you get in the box. You've got your accessory bag here. We'll start with that. And uh, to be honest, I don't know what these are. I'm gonna have to uh, read the manual and see what these are. There's some little like C-clamp looking things. Uh, we've got mounting hardware for the driver. If you'd like to mount the driver on the light itself, you can do that. Uh, it does look like there is enough cabling here possibly to mount the driver outside. Yeah, there is actually, look at that. You got quite a bit of cabling there. So you can mount the driver outside, so you don't really need to use this if you don't want to, but it is adjustable. Uh, when you put it on, you can adjust it from here to uh, space out the bars however you want to space them, because you can space these bars however you'd like to, which is, is really a, a cool option. We've got some, uh, some end caps for the end there to make sure it doesn't rip a hole in your tent, anything like that. We've got... Another little bag here with the daisy chain, phone cord, of course. And then we've got the metal hanging kit right there. And uh, two rope ratchets that are metal gear, it looks like. But is it metal gear or is that plastic? I think that might actually be plastic. It's really shiny plastic though. It may, it looked almost like metal, but it's black. So I think that's plastic. It looks plastic. If I find out different, I'll let you know. And then we've got, of course, you get this uh, pretty sick sticker sheet. All different kinds of stickers. Got the crazy Mars Hydro Martian guy. A little smaller version of him. Got Mars Hydro here. Some little small stickers all over the place and big one here pretty cool stickers are always fun uh, you got your driver here which is mars hydro model mh 1000 ma 56 bh now can i see a manufacturer on here made in china of course i don't see a oh lg right there LG LED solution. So it is an LG driver. There's the uh, particulars if you want to pause and read any of that. But yeah, it's a beef, beefy driver, man. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's huge and it is pretty heavy. And we've got, of course, our dimmer knob. Nice smooth dimmer. No clicks. I like that. You got your 25, 50, and 75% max and min. You got a oh, cool little button there. Two channel, daisy chain, nothing on the other side. Has a really long uh, cord on it to go to your power. Put that back over here. And then, now this is the crazy part here, guys. This is the crazy part here. This is definitely a first on the channel. As you can see, I've got two more bars here. What could these be for? Well, you can actually take these and stick, you can see right here, you can stick this in the end of the other bars 
and extend it another two feet. This light can do four by six, guys. I can't. I don't even have a tent to test this in as a four by six. But this is definitely a first time thing that I have ever seen on any light where it's extendable. You can do four by four with all 10 bars or you can do this extra two foot extension and go 10 bars in a four by six running a thousand watts, which honestly would be a better option because a thousand watts in a four by four is, is absolutely insane. This is gonna just blow the doors off this tent. I'm really excited to test this. It's gonna be pretty cool. So that's what you get in there. And uh, be sure to uh, also leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment below if you own a Mars Hydro Light. What's your favorite model or what do you run at home? Or what would you like to get? Just uh, leave a comment. You know YouTube loves comments and stuff. Just help us out a little bit. And then we got the uh, manual here, of course. It is gonna run on the Mars Hydro app. So it is going to be app controlled. Here's their different models that are available. Pause that if you want to read any of that. We got the FC 3000, the 4800, got the 6500 and the 8000, and then the big bad 1000 watt. There's our accessories. Assembly instructions right here. This is for your basic little lights Now this is the 4x6. Look at that guys. Look at that You just build the extra extension there shove it in the end and you've got a 4x6 Even coverage grow light Just a little bit about hooking it up there Really really cool Dimming operation Shows you all that there. Daisy chain, how to hook it up. Just kind of showing this in case any of you lose your manual. Maybe you can refer back to this video and check it out. Uh, cautions, we don't really need any safety caution stuff, right? We can skip that. Uh, warranty. All right, so warranty here. Please visit the official website for the current warranty situation, of course. Um, all Mars Hydro products carry a 30 day satisfaction guarantee from the date the product is received. Uh, everything else you got to find out on their website. They usually do a three year warranty that's kind of uh, uh, tiered. Like the first year they cover uh, shipping and everything. The second, third year they usually charge you a little bit of shipping on it. And then another language there. And that's it. So go ahead and check out their website for the rest of their warranty info. But that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, what you get besides, of course, the uh, cables to hook it up. Like I said, it's a nice long extension here so you can run the driver outside. It is going to have these, uh, these multi-fitting cables. So you get two of them. There's five there. Run five bars. And you got a second one here to run the other five bars. And it just kind of plugs in and powers it up. So that's how that works. Let's go ahead and uh, get it hooked up and uh, let's see what this thing does. This is gonna be nuts, guys. All right, I figured out what these are for. This is actually to hang the driver inside the tent if you'd like to. You can hang it from one of your bars. So that's a, a neat little option. You can hang it inside the tent instead of on the light. Or of course you can have it, uh, you can have it outside the tent as well. All right, guys, we are back. We've got it all hooked up and ready to go. This thing is massive. Look at how many bars. <laughs> like, holy shit. That is so many bars. Amazing, dude. Ten bars. Ten bars in a 4x4. Now, the cool thing about this light is you can actually extend it that was what those other bars were for. You can actually extend this light out and spread the bars out over a four by six space. So that's very, very unique. I don't have a four by six space to test this in. So we're gonna test it in a four by four with all 10 bars. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
as you can see we've got uh diodes uh packed to the edges spaced out a little bit more in the center trying to get a little bit less uh, uh intensity in the middle and push more out to the edges which is good combination of cool white warm white and red throughout the whole thing looks like uh no that's a screw i thought that was infrared for a second <laughs> I'm looking on the on the camera uh, viewfinder here, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think this has infrared. I don't see any. Yeah, you guys see any? Nope, that's a screw. <laughs> All right, so ten bars, guys. Now that's really cool, and I'm sure the output is going to be killer. Um, I do have some complaints with this light that uh, I would definitely like to see addressed. The main thing is this whole shit right here. This is the worst solution I have seen. And you guys know I've tested a lot of lights. This is the worst solution I've seen for hooking up a bunch of bars. Absolutely the worst. This has to be the cheapest thing on the market because it's definitely not the best. Um, it's just a mess. It's a rat's nest of, of wires everywhere, especially with 10 bars now. It was bad enough when they had eight bars doing this, but 10 is just too much. Then you've got two different cables here coming off the driver that goes out to five to this side and five to this side. Um, it's just a lot of cables, guys. It's a lot of cables. Uh, this should be in the bar so that you plug it in right in here and it hooks in. Um, it just it shouldn't be like this. It really needs to get fixed. I'd like to see it addressed I've mentioned it a couple times in the past and nothing has changed. So, uh, I don't know I'll mention it again I'll keep mentioning it until uh, they change something. The other thing, uh, is these clips each of these actually clip in They're not really like screwed in or held in. They're just kind of clipped in and uh, the clips don't really Don't really hold that good as you can see <laughs> They just come out. So uh, when I was hanging this light, I was actually afraid of it falling apart. No joke. So the structural issues of this light are intense. And I don't know what Mars was thinking, but um, it definitely wasn't thinking with somebody that tests lights. I don't know. I don't know. Accountants were thinking when they made this light, I think. So that's, that's my big gripes with this light uh, right off the bat is the structural integrity is pretty weak. I'm not saying it's going to fall apart while you're using it. Like I have it together and while it's together and you're not moving it or anything, it's fine. It's fine. But when you try and move this thing, I I'm telling you, man, it feels like it's going to fall apart. So not cool at all. Uh, give you guys a look at the driver here. I just have the driver sitting on top of here. You can mount it on here or have it external. The, the cables are long enough. And this does hook up to the uh, the Mars Hydro app. So you can dim it on the on the uh, control there. Or you can actually use the, uh, the Mars Hydro app, which I've got here on my phone. You see we got it at 10% there. Let's uh, let's turn on the uh, the par meters here, four corner par meter. See what we're pulling here, and uh, we got the watt meter as well. Looking about a hundred watts, about a hundred and forty par to the corners. Uh, we're running at twenty five inches, just to show you here as usual. Twenty five inches off the deck. That is to simulate a twenty four inch canopy because the sensors are about an inch off the floor. So this is uh, pretty much 10%. Uh, the base is where you want to run it for uh, seedlings and clones. That's uh, pretty much perfect at 10% for seedlings and clones. Killing the game. So let's uh, let's kick it up to... Uh, eh, let's take a quick center reading. I mean, seedlings and clones, but, you know, let's just check it out. 171, not bad. I'm actually going to leave that in the middle here because this corner is really weak anyway because it doesn't have any reflection. So this corner is always just weak as shit. So I'm just going to leave that in the center and we're going to do the three and then the center just to make things quicker. We'll speed it up. I don't want to take too much of you guys' time here, you know. You guys got shit to do. Let's kick it up to uh, maybe 25%. Uh, yeah, that's going to be about right, actually. 
25% is where I would veg at. About 350 is where I would veg at. And that's going to be 350 in the corners and 400 in the middle. That is on point for me for veg. That is killing the game. That's exactly what I would do right there. So that is at 25 percent if you see that with the glare 25 percent there so let's uh let's kick it up to uh like the base of flour maybe let's try 45 percent damn i'm good holy hell <laughs> i'm just guessing that's cool all right so yeah we're dead on right there for flour uh 600 in the corners 739 in the middle that is uh that's awesome that's awesome guys that's killing the game and we're only at 45 percent so you guys see the potential of this light the potential of this light is there i just wish they'd uh give it a little bit better build quality just a little bit better just a just a little bit just a little bit more guys just a little bit more mars just a little bit more love into this light and this thing would be a badass because watch man watch this is going to blow the doors off this tent you guys this is going to be intensity city right here Let's go up to, uh, let's go to 69%. There we go. 69% right there. All right, 69%. We're at 900, baby. 900. 900 and 940 in the corners. And 1100 in the middle. Dude, this is where most lights will max out. And we're at, we're at 69%, guys. I told you, this is going to push some serious, serious power. It, nobody's going to argue that Mars Hydro beats damn near everybody for wattage, or excuse me, wattage for the money, but also output for the money. Like, you cannot beat Mars for output for the money, which makes it really great for that first-time grower. You get that, that first-time grower that, that really doesn't want to sink a bunch of money in. They're not sure if they're going to do it. They they just they they're just not sure, so they don't want to sink a bunch of money into a light. So they spend money on a Mars Hydro because it's the cheapest thing out that gives good output, and then they use that until it either goes out or they upgrade to something else. So it it has its place in the market. Um, I just it's just not. Uh, I just wish they'd fix the structural man. This light would be a banger, like serious banger, absolute banger. If they take care of the structural and the wires, man, I I don't know who's going to beat them, man. I really don't. Like, if they can keep this same price point and fix those issues, eh, that's going to be a rough one for people. That's going to be a market killer. All right, so let's, uh, okay, let's blow it open, man. Let's just go for it. 100%. Let's go for it. Right there. Boom. 100%. And we are at 11 40 to 1190 basically 1150 to 1200 in the corners guys 1150 to 1200 in the corners ridiculous absolutely ridiculous blowing the doors off of this tent 1400 in the middle guys 1400 at these lighting levels you need to be using co2 so if you're going to run this light in a 4x4 at 100 percent with all 10 bars firing you are going to want CO2 because damn, that is a shitload of par. And that's taking 877 watts. It's not even a thousand watts to do that, guys. Not even a thousand watts. They did say this was supposed to be a thousand watts, though. So it does not take a thousand watts, which for one thing is good because it doesn't take a thousand watts. But the other thing is bad is they said it would take a thousand watts and it doesn't. So yeah. <laughs> all right so uh pretty sweet let's uh grab the uh spectrometer here we'll get a, a spectral reading see see what we're uh what we're looking at here oh and the the app does have uh, a timer and all that good stuff too like you can set the timer scenes different groups lighting groups and all kinds of stuff like it's got a lot to it like it's it's not a bad little app all right here we are Wow, it's so bright. I can't even see this thing. Zeroed out there. All right. Wow, it is so bright. The camera won't even adjust. 
There we go. Got a nice, uh, nice red peak there. Definitely higher than everything else. Got the blue. There's the makeup. Blue to red looks like a uh, about a three to one ratio, almost exactly. A little tiny bit of far red, and a tiny bit of infrared and UV just passively, I believe. There is no uh, no real bump down there at the 740. But yeah, pretty sick. So that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. All we have to do now is let it warm up, and we'll take some heat readings and uh, pretty much just uh, wrap it up. All right, we are back and we've let it warm up for about an hour or so. Let's take a look and see what we've got. See if there's any crazy, crazy hot spots or anything. Max. Let's say 167. What the hell is 167? The end of the driver? Dang, dude, that's hot down there. So this end of the driver is only 143. The other end is 167. That's really kind of interesting and weird. Huh. Well, I know this is kind of like a housing here. So maybe the, the actual driver is down at this end, which makes that end hotter. 167 is really hot though. They're pushing that driver to its limits. So this, I mean, this is a budget setup for the wattage that it is and the, uh, the par that it pushes. <laughs> it's pretty wild, but it, it is very budget. Like it, they're pushing it to its limits. So, I mean, this is something that uh, you're, you may have to use their warranty. Uh, they do have the warranty on it. So, as we discussed before, uh, you can go to their website for more information on that. But uh, they also have the FC series. This is the FCE. Uh, the FC series is built quite a bit better, but it is a higher price point. So, if you want uh, build quality, go for that. If you uh, want price, and that's your main concern, go with this because, I mean... The output on this is crazy. Absolutely nuts. I mean, you guys saw it. They definitely got the output nailed. Like, the output is great. The spectrum is great. The integration with the app and stuff, that works all great and everything. They solve a couple problems with the wiring and just the overall. I'd like to see the structure beefed up. This thing's going to be a banger. Definite, definite banger. So, hell yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, click the links below for more information. Whole bunch of stuff down there. Links to the website. Got all my discount codes there. Merch. All kinds of stuff. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Until next time, happy growing.